Okay, this is uh, the second of, I hope, just two videos uh, for getting thumbnails set up for Product 310 during the COVID years. Um, so in 2020, that is right now. Previously, we drew this. Uh, we're drawing, we drew that in a more or less isometric view. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is a parallel line, but closer to what I think is probably going to be on my final big sketch. And I'm going to draw it flatter this time, but still parallel, but not isometric. So using the same proportions as last time. So if you didn't watch that video, maybe have a look at that to see the proportions we picked. They're not perfect. Again, the big sketch would be more exact, but for now, thumbnail wise, it's fine. So we're gonna draw it more in the final orientation. I'm gonna try zooming out here. If we're still, oh, no, we see I'm okay. And so I'm running into some hidden stuff here. Seems okay. So this time I'm going to draw it more upright. I'm also going to emphasize a cable protector on this one. So I'm going to do a tiny thumbnail within my thumbnail. So I'm going to draw it quite flat, uh, not 30s basically, with this uh, cable coming out the top. Oh, sorry, the, that's not right. With the prongs coming out the top, which we missed on the last one, and have the cable guide or guard coming out the side. So that's my goal for this, kind of in this orientation. However, I'm not going to fit 30s here. So you'll see what happens if I'm just looking at the object. This one will be shallow, this one will be steeper. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to start with this edge first. So I'll pick a spot and just using the side of the page with my pinky. Uh, I need to fit, it's about half and half actually, my micro thumbnail is about there, so we'll go for this front edge down the middle of our sheet. You start to see why we bother with these thumbnails, uh, the advantage is we get these feelings for how things are, and then when we do the big one, we don't waste our time. Now, I'm going to do a f quite flat side here. It's alright. Um, Try not to move the paper. I'm gonna, whatever angle this is, it's less than 30. But parallel, not parallel. And again, this time I wanna use, it's a two. Miraculously, I already picked up, and a two. So the measurements I'm still using, this is not, for those who are up on parallel lines and all the rest, this is not perfect. Uh, good Lord, I'm gonna have to stand up. So, Doing my thumbnail. Uh, I'm gonna fix this line here, sorry. Just to not keep it too rough. Uh, so there's my side panel. Now the other one is gonna go back, but I'm gonna choose, just to keep it kind of realistic looking, I'm gonna actually recede it back, not at 30, but a little bit higher. Now again, this doesn't really, it's not a big deal, but they should be parallel, to be parallel. You'll notice here that this one is now not parallel. It's perspectival, meaning not parallel. So we want to emphasize that. I'm going to emphasize that we're not drawing a perspective here. We're still parallel. I'm going to continue using the grid, the same measurements as before. Again, for those who are howling with irritation here that this is not correct. Yeah, I know that. But to keep things quick and easy, let's just uh, pretend that we don't know that. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, just carry on. So there's my same block as before. Again, if you didn't watch the previous video, have a look at that. We're doing the same thing. I want, this time, I want the cable to stick out this way. So my cable's here, and my prongs are here. So that means the fillets are here. If I want the same fillet, for some reason, I can use my ruler and transfer it across. Or realize it's about a, yeah, just below a quarter. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just measuring this fillet. Now, again, breaking some rules here, but the prongs are at the top, so that means our fillet is on the top. Same on the other side. So just to, so I don't lose track of what's going on, draw the fillets as I go. This one will be tight, and this one will be loose. So think back to Mac 200. 
because we're kind of going around the arc here. So there's my uh, fillets on the top. I'm going to actually, rather than transferring it down because it's quite long, I'll just transfer it this way. So another thing to keep in mind is we have an easy one in here. So that one's straightforward, matches. The problem is here the silhouette. So we do need this silhouette to come down. And then this fillet goes up to match. Again, the silhouette down, uh, which is defined by our first curve. And as we come down to the bottom, we just curve into it and touch at the right spot, that fillet. Nice. Now, because we did all this work previously, you don't need to get carried away with this one. So we know what's going on here. The viewer can see them both. So that's not bad. I'm going to position this again. I'm just going to use the same height that I had before. So follow this edge to make the cap. This is where we uh, separate the main body from the added cap. And again, this shape should be repeated, so if you see it coming around, it should match up. Nice. It is a gap. There's a corner. I'm just going to double this while I'm at it. Again, not perfect. We're doing quite fast work here. Just trying to emphasize what's going on. This is the center of our part. So again, we're going to have an ellipse here. Not part, It's not going to be exactly isometric anymore, but parallel. Parallel, 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 parallel. So these guys are where our prongs lip. Just looking at it, you can see it's about, it's probably about a quarter. So half and half. So just half in this length. And that'll give us a reasonable uh, sort of expectation. It looks a little wide, so I'm just going to thin it down a bit and draw the base of these two prongs first. Again, similar to before, they've got some depth, or thickness, definitely. And they're going to be vertical, so they're going to be parallel, 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 parallel. How long are they? Uh, I think we said a quarter. Let me just check here with the ruler. Uh, they're almost a full unit, so why not just do that? So we'll go for a, for as that unit is a half, that's our distance there. So we've got a half, a half, a half, and a half. So again, very Mech 200 type things here. It's kind of shaped at the top. We can kind of fiddle that around. There's also a hole in it. Oh, wrong way. So we'll get in the hole. Again, if I want to see where the hole is on the other one, just parallel, parallel. So we've got reasonable ways of doing this. And then the hole will be in the same spot and invisible. Nice. So that's our prongs. And we can see the back of it coming through and then the back. So we'll emphasize this in a bit here. Next is uh, this cover. So it, again, the cable goes around. It's going to come out parallel, parallel. And we can just kind of sketch it in. It has a bigger end here. And we can put contour lines on here if we wish to uh, emphasize. And then there's, I drew previously three. Again, we'll worry about this more, but in the big sketch, there's little broken pieces here and the details, again, we'll leave for the big sketch. Again, we can't see Phillips anymore, but we can see everything else. So this is, I kind of like this view of it, uh, but I'm going to continue sketching more uh, thumbnails to figure out what is going to work best for me in this uh, large sketch, which I've yet to do. So it's quite a lot of work to do a big sketch. I don't want to waste my time doing something that's going to look kind of crappy. So emphasizing the th components of this part with some heavier lines around. Uh, and then if you want a heavy edge uh, around the whole circumference. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, at the end here you just kind of fade away if you're doing this. A 
quite rough, rough and ready. Uh, just trying to make a point. It's all one thing. It's quite a big thumbnail. Like sometimes uh, in the future you want to do them as this quite this big. But it's enough to give us a good idea of what's going on. So that one's not bad. Uh, sorry, it might have been off screen quite a bit there, sorry. Uh, the general idea is there. And if you want, for example, something might be a little bit too dark, just lighten it up with the eraser, blur it out. Uh, just to see, it's not, we're not removing the construction, but uh, improving it a little bit. Oh, sorry. One thing we're missing is uh, the panel, just in board of the fillet on the side. It is a flat shape. It's quite it's reasonably close to the base. So that's where our info panel will be uh, in the final part. Again, we may get more carried away with that later, but it might also be a CAD issue. So there's thumbnail two. Uh, do three more and you're set. Again, keep in mind, the first one we drew was isometric. This one is not, it's still parallel, parallel lines all over the place, but not at 30 degrees. So this is still a parallel line, but it is good in a certain way to emphasize different faces. I tried to pick angles that matched what I saw with my eye. And again, if this bit turns into the bigger sketch, we'll talk more about that then. But for now, that's how you do that. Thanks for watching. And over to you for uh, thumbnail orama. Uh, thanks again.